And I uh, yeah, and we're live. All right, cool. So, um, yeah, uh, I was just kind of googling around, and um, I kind of I think I was on YouTube or something like that. Uh huh. Uh, no, I think I get on you Google, and then and then uh, it pointed me to this video on YouTube. Uh, and it's just you know it's be live and it's just and I gave and there's this guy who talks about it and everything and uh, uh, how how it works and everything. I'm like, oh, this is cool, you know. He gives you the name and then you can you can do all kinds of stuff like uh, you know put in like a banner like right here. I'll I'll go uh -huh. here and uh, yeah, where is it? I'll put in like mom hustlers right here and <clears throat> you know and yeah. uh, it's, it's kind of targeted just only for Facebook. Uh -huh. um, lives and stuff like that and then um and then they afterwards they start adding like youtube and stuff like that too so uh, I, haven't okay, done, okay. I haven't done any of that stuff yet so yeah yeah i know i was thinking about like since i have like you know so much time on my hand now you know since i've been working out like super early in the morning you know yeah. and i was like man you know what i'm probably gonna start like a youtube channel or something you know <laughs> go ahead man there's a lot of there's Everybody stay home these days, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Got to do something, so, right? So those of you guys joining, we already got a few of you guys joining. Hey, thanks for you guys for joining. Let us know where you guys are from. I'd uh, love, to, love to hear uh, any California representing, you know, Chang, Chang Sang is from uh, California, right? I think yep. Fresno, right? Fresno, yep. Fresno. So any Fresno representing, you know, <laughs> give him a holler, you know? <laughs> so we're just kind of beating around the bush right now. It's just trying to set up our uh, stuff there and I'll share it out to like some of my groups here and then uh, we'll we'll get on with the show man so uh, hey, man, I appreciate you doing this um, oh no problem at all but uh, this no, guy's a real hustler you're, busy. Huh? <laughs> you're the one that's always busy <laughs> yeah like I was telling everybody I was telling him dude I just got home it's like it's like I just got home at 11 just took a shower and then I like messaging him we were actually supposed to do this around what like uh, 7 your time seven, yeah like, 7 o'clock our time yeah 2 hours ago yeah <laughs> And uh, sorry, everybody. I was like, <clears throat> I had to go clean my vacation rental because Fridays are uh, our check-in day for like all my vacation rentals, right? Oh uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, so like, um, there's some stuff that needed to fix throughout the week. So I, I was like, you know, in and out. I had to drive over there, and I was like an hour out. I my, my vacation rentals were like an hour out, you know. So oh wow. So I'm like, oh man, and, you know, I'm running <laughs> out of time. So I'm like, I'm just gonna message you and say, hey, can you two more hours just to finish cleaning the pools and everything? Yeah. You know? Cause usually, like, you know, right now, like, the only reason vacation rentals are are popular right now is there's I have a pool, you know. Oh yeah, especially uh, right now, it's like it's hot, right? Yeah, like in Florida, it's so hot right now, so they just want to come and swim, you know, all day, <laughs> you know, twenty four seven. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So they just basically uh, want want to have like a little pool party. Basically. Yeah, that's it. I mean, they, I mean, I have people coming from like uh, I think the last one was from like. Georgia or something like that. Oh, nice. No, no, they were like Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. Pennsylvania. They they drove down and I'm like, do you guys go to the parks and stuff like that? And they're like, nah, we're just <laughs> here to chill and swim. I'm like, holy cow, they drove like, yeah, <laughs> like yeah. I don't know how many hours, like 18 hours or whatever, just to come and swim. And I'm like, oh, running. man. Hey, but it works, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As long, hey, as as like, whatever. I'm getting paid. So I'm like, whatever. They they me stay an extra day. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, hey guys, hey, we got a uh, yeah, key, uh, key main from Stockton, California. Uh, John, John Lee, Florida representing. What's up, John? You still driving Uber? Yeah, I don't know if you uh, even know John, but John drove Uber and he got robbed. Oh, really? <laughs> he was on the news. I'm like, holy cow. Oh, shit. He got robbed. Uh, and we got two. Hey, two. Uh, keep it going, Chang. Too tall. So yeah, hey guys, uh, let us know where you guys are from. Uh, we'll start here pretty shortly. Let me just do a quick share out, and then uh, we're starting, man. We got uh, I never yeah. did Uber, but I did Lyft. <laughs> but I never oh, yeah? got robbed. <laughs> yeah, dude, you got run. I think it was gunpoint too, man. I was like, oh shit, man. Yeah, that that's kind of like you know one reason why like I I felt like I had to stop, you know, because I, you never know like uh, what situation you're gonna put yourself in into, right? Yeah, you're enclosed in your car, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, oh man, I'm like, what are you gonna do? You, you can't, you can't <laughs> face the dude or the person. Right? Yeah, yeah, yep. It's unless crazy. you, unless you, unless you're carrying something, then I mean, it's a different story. But most drivers don't even carry, you know. 
like CCW. Yeah. Well, I mean, what Wes mean is, if you carry him, like, how are you going to face the guy? He goes, hey, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, oh, man, let's see here. I'm just trying to share it out here. Yeah, and then, like, by that time, you might as well just, you know, give it up, right? And it's like, oh, here you go. Right, like, what, you what do you want? Dude, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. All right, where do you want to go? I'll just take uh, you. <laughs> You got me, bro. You got me. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, thanks you guys joined. Dude, it's like late. You know, it's like nine o'clock in California. So it's like midnight here in Florida. So there's a huge amount of people here. You know, uh, let us know where you guys are from. Appreciate you guys joining. Especially uh, at this time, too. <laughs> yeah. Today, we want to talk about the business of cleaning headlights. <laughs> 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 and everybody wants to know for some reason, man. <laughs> oh, you'd be, you'd be surprised. Yeah, especially like when I tell people how much like, you know, uh, I make off of it and then they're like, whoa, are you serious? I'm like, uh, yeah, you'd be surprised. Oh, yeah, dude. I want to do it. <laughs> and it's so simple. It sounds simple enough, right? I mean, I it's, don't know. It's, it's totally simple, you know. It's just, how you, it. yeah, yeah. It's just how you want to do it, you know. Yeah, I mean, we'll find out in a bit here. Um, you guys got any questions about it? Let us know. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll hit you guys up. Hit Chang. Uh, hey, do you go by uh, Chang Sang or Chang? Uh, I go by Chang Sang, but you know, okay. most people just like uh, you know, uh, Chang Sang is a little hard for them, so they just call me Chang. Okay, so yeah. we, I'll just say Chang Sang. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so, uh Oh man, shit, there's no way. Right, is, there, there's still a lot of people from Florida still up, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, we got, you know, like I said, we got uh, John. You know, so John's up. Uh, he's probably on Uber right now. He's probably driving around, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, John. Let, let us know, John. Message in the chats. Let us know if you're still driving Uber right now, you know. So John John's in Florida. John John Edward Lee. He's like um, his his uh, oh, Facebook yeah, profile is Nia Lee. Oh okay okay. Yeah. I want, I wonder how busy it is in Florida, huh? With Uber. I don't know. I thought I thought I thought Uber and Lyft was getting killed in California right now, right? Yeah, it stopped. Yeah. Like they yeah. sent uh, they sent me an email saying that uh, basically they they're stopping it. Because I used to be a Lyft driver, right? Yeah. So my email is still uh, active. So uh -huh. they sent, yeah. So they sent uh, me a, uh, a email saying that, oh, in California they're stopping uh, basically all of that. But I guess you can still do uh, Uber Eats and you know all the other like Grubhub and so forth. Oh, yeah. so you can you you can, you you can't drive people, but you can mm -hmm. do delivery. Yes. Wow. Okay. What? Yeah. Where's? When does it end? Does it, did it say? Does it say when it ends? Nope. Not until. I think. I think it's like it, it's just something between you know like, uh, the state and uh the the company. You know what I mean? No, I mean like uh, the email you got. When? When does? It oh. Say um. Uh, you you cease to. You can't I write. Think, yeah, I can't remember. Like, I didn't read the whole the whole email because like it didn't pertain to me that much, you know, because I don't drive anymore yeah so i just like uh glanced at it very quickly yeah. yeah so i was like oh shit and then heard it on the news too and then um yeah but they, they didn't hear anything about like uh when gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. all right so get ready to start we got uh zay says kevin yang is listening what's up kevin uh we got zong florida so, so we got two two people in florida it's midnight over here those guys are still up uh we got chancy lee just kind of work want to hear the story yeah so tonight's story is how to make money cleaning headlights <laughs> car headlights <laughs> uh okay so two goes yes yeah, it's a scary situation uh so he's from fresno uh matthew that's bruce lee's other's name chang sang that's bruce lee is that do you know that matthew no, goes, chang sang is bruce lee's other name no, I didn't. I didn't know that. I, that's probably you sure, wrong. Matthew? <laughs> Matthew, you sure? <laughs> well, it makes look Chang Sing Lee, like right? Bruce Lee. You know, you yeah. it, it got the whole thing in there. Yeah, yeah. 
I don't know. Like Ma- Ma- Matthews, like, he'd be posting some some funny stuff sometimes. So I don't know if I can <laughs> believe him on that one. <laughs> All right. So yeah, Priscilla, uh, say hi. Uh, hi, Priscilla. So yeah, I guess uh, John John replied back. He uh, I drive and take people. So he, I guess he still drives. You know. Oh okay. Uh, keep it up. So uh, Kenya Kenya Lay says, uh, "Keep it up, buddy." Oh, All right. So uh, yeah, let, bro, let's get started, man. Let's uh, let's see here. Let me let me get my, my widgets going here. And uh, thanks you guys for joining. Uh, tonight we're just going to talk about how this hustler here. Cleans, cleans. Do you go up and down, or do you like circle? No, no side to side. <laughs> yeah, side to side. No, no, going up and down. Like you know, some of the YouTube videos. Like I've tried it all too. You know I me. Mean? Yeah. Like when I first when I first started. Yeah. Like I was like I was like man, you know what? Like okay, let me try this. Let me try that. And then eventually, yeah. you know, I found I found my own little techniques. You know. Okay. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we'll talk about it in a bit, I guess. Uh, <laughs> so hey. hey uh, Everybody, welcome to uh, show 27. Uh, we got a special guest, Chang Sang Lee, you know, from Fresno, California. So he's going to talk about how he's making money on weekends. Because you, you got your own, you got a primary job anyway, right? Yes. Okay. And then, but this is your side hustle job. Yep. And then we're going to talk a little about how, you know, you went from just side hustling to, you know, being like a real estate investor, you know? Because yep. we've been yep. talking about real estate. And I was like, hey, man, this guy's. This guy's hustling, you know. Of course, <laughs> you know. But so I want to walk you to the to the show. Appreciate you coming. Um, you're, uh, you're, dude. You're a awesome guy, you know. Um, oh, thank you. I, I see. <laughs> and the reason why I say that because I see every morning you post some positive stuff, you know. So we got a lot of negativity stuff on Facebook, but every morning you, you post some some like positivity stuff. So those uh-huh. of you guys who want some sort of positive on your Facebook, you know, wall or something. Like, Subscribe to this guy, you know, Adam is a friend, you know, you'll see that kind of stuff, you know, but what's the motivation behind that? Well, basically, like, uh, the mo- motivation behind that is just, uh, you know, it's just to motivate myself. Like, whenever every, like, every morning I wake up and I'm, I start, I'm starting my workout, I listen to, like, motivational speeches. And sometimes throughout the, my whole workout, you'd be surprised. You know, some people, they like, uh, you know, hyped up music, right? Uh-huh. But for me in the in the morning, I'm all I'm just like, you know what, like I'm trying to prime my mind. Right. So I'm listening to all these motivational speeches. And then uh, and eventually I hear a quote that reminds me of something about yeah. myself or my past. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm using that as my motivation as of uh, for today. And uh-huh. I post it, you know, me, I post it and then. It's like it's mainly a reminder for myself, like because I'm putting it out there in the world, you know I me, mean? right. and and I I'm guessing it's affecting some people. Um, sometimes some people like I, I'll see them at the store or like I'll walk around, you know, uh, town and stuff. They're like, hey man, you know that that quote that you put up today? Yeah, hey man, that that was great, you know. Yeah. So, well, yeah. I mean, what time do you work out? I'm just curious. <laughs> so I wake up around like five thirty in the morning. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So like, so I'll, I'll basically get my workout started around like six o'clock, you know, um, yeah. and then try to go until, so I'll do my cardio yeah. and then, and then, uh, start my workout, uh, probably about six thirty or seven o'clock yeah. and then, uh, all the way until, uh, probably almost eight o'clock and then have to get ready for work. Wow. Okay. So just, just the reason why I asked that, cause like, uh, there was this thing going around on Facebook saying that, you know, all these successful people, like, who's got tons of money, you know, uh, these billionaires, like, what's something in common between them, right? And it's, it's like, they work out yeah. early in the morning. So you're doing that pattern, you know, that's why he's yeah. not asking you, is like, yeah, what time, what time are you working out? Like, yeah, it's right around five o'clock is only they work out mm-hmm. right around that time. And I guess, you know, you're doing that. So that's awesome, dude. Yeah, the, like, I was listening to one of the, uh, one of the speeches, uh, and it did talk about that too. And uh, I forgot who was it. I think it was uh, uh, Tony Robbins. Yeah. Tony. Yeah. Tony Robbins talks about that about his ritual. Uh-huh. And he was like, and he was like, when he, uh, you know, that was one thing that had in, uh, everybody had in common, right? They had a a ritual that yeah. they that everybody follows, right? Yeah. So was I was like, 
Yeah. yeah. So I was like, hey, I'm, I'm, I think I'm a part of that, you know? <laughs> well, you do it. So, and then here you are remote me others, you know, with some quotes that you hear doing that morning. So when I wake up, I see that. So that motivates me. So that helps, you know, I should be waking up really working out with you. <laughs> okay, I appreciate it, man. So, but, but that also leads to like, uh, dude, you, you're also like one of the top, you know, one of the admins out of like one of my home fitness group, right? Which, I mean, I'll let you explain about it. What What is it called? Uh, so we're, we're basically called Monk Fitness uh, and Motivation. Huh? So uh, you guys can find us on Facebook. We have about 19,000 uh, members uh, now. Uh, wow. Some of them are active. Some of them don't really talk. But, you know, that's how many members we have on there. Uh, and we, yeah. So and we've been building this page for about uh, maybe about six, seven years now. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it is motivational too because you see everybody in there posting like what do you guys call it gains or like like yeah yeah <laughs> like basically gains and progress you know <laughs> um so usually progress now like uh gains is kind of like you know out the door you know <laughs> so, oh, like, so oh, what is it called like, in progress now or well no it's just like pro and like a lot of people now they just like hashtag progress you know I me mean? like okay. uh yeah a lot of them they're not like um uh, they're not putting like oh uh, like gains. Uh, you know, you remember back then like the like you'll see hashtag like gains all yeah. day or something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So now it's a little different. Now it's just like mainly progress, you know. So okay. Yeah. And what, and then, what we're talking about is like, uh, you know, everybody's in there trying to get in shape, right? And so they're yeah. posting their um, what is it? Their begin uh, before and after or whatever you guys call it. Yeah. You know? Before and after. Yeah. So. So it, and it's all more motivation because everybody else is motivating each other in there. So it's all positivity in that group, which I love, you know? Oh yeah, totally. And, and that's what we, as the admins, I like, try to keep, you know, and yeah. it's like, if, if we find some, uh, find something or see something that we don't think that will fit, you know, uh, within our page, uh, we'll either, uh, delete it or we'll notify the person and say, Hey, you know, can you not put that up? Can you not, uh, you know, uh, say that, you know, uh, if we continue to see that, uh, yeah. we're going to actually remove you uh, from the page, you know. And that's, so, yeah, that's great. I mean, and it's all, like, majority is like Hmong people, right? Yeah, majority is Hmong people. You know, we do have others that are, you know, obviously not Hmong people. But, uh, you know, uh, it all depends. Some some of them come in. Uh, eventually, they'll they'll see that they, they may not be the page for them. So they eventually, they get out on their own. So we don't have to tell anybody. <laughs> So most of the time we don't even kick people out. Yeah, I mean yeah. it's it's all good stuff. I mean it's not like yeah. you know no. I mean there's hardly any trash talking. It's just like you know this is where I'm going. Or they got questions. People are like oh people chip jump in and help each other out. And, yeah. uh, and and I think what one year right two years now you guys have been like before this COVID thing you guys been doing this uh, New Year uh, not New Year uh, tournament thing not tournament is it tournament? Oh in well, July right July yeah 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 tournament. so you guys been, like showing up. Yeah, so in uh, in J4, so we started like a little, uh, it was like a little gathering, you know, in, uh, we started in J4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so me, me and some of the, the other guys were like, hey, you know what, like, since, like, this page is like, we already have like, I think at that time, we have probably like 15,000 people already. Uh, and then we're like, you know what, like, let's do something about it, you know, and, you know, what's the hottest place like during the summer, right? The best place to go. And where, where does all the people go? They go to yeah. J4. So we're like, you know what? Let's go to J4 yeah. and uh, let, let's like promote and let's get all the all the top guys uh, that is posting um, pretty knowledgeable and what they're doing. So let's let's uh, host this thing in J4. And then, hey, it became a blast, you know, and then um, and then, you know, we did one event here in Fresno. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, they did another event uh, in J4 uh, last year. So. OK. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully they can keep uh, doing it in J four. So, yeah. So I saw I me. Mean, I saw the pictures. You got some. some There's some great looking people there, man. <laughs> but, you know, all y'all posting like whatever you guys are doing. Dude, it's like you need some great pictures. You know, uh, yeah, man. You whatever you guys are doing, that's great. I mean, I see it. I'm like, wow, the guys. Are so any uh, it's uh, the group's called uh, Mo Fitness and Motivation. If any of you guys are on there right now, give give him a holler, man. Uh, tell them, hey, raise your, I don't know, say hi or something. <laughs> say, uh, I don't know, give us keyword, like, say, hey, I'm here, you know, I'm in that group, 
um, give him a holler because he's one of the admins um, uh, of that group, and uh, you guys are doing great stuff in there. So oh, uh, uh, let's give uh, a few of you guys a shout out. Uh, let's see. Uh, we got Ole, change my boy or something. <laughs> What's up, Ole? <laughs> he's he's uh, Priscilla. This is don't like for you. He's a jack of all trades. Okay. <laughs> hey, Hustler. Hey, um, Hustler. Because uh, William goes, bro, I did the same motivation speech and work out. So, uh, okay. Five o'clock. Betsy goes, hardcore to 5 a.m. workout. Nice. So, Betsy goes, <laughs> or, or, I guess he's saying at five o'clock. It's pretty hardcore. <laughs> uh, Calvin says he's from Madison. So, guys, give us a shout out. Let, let us know where you guys are from. We're just curious to see. Any California people here, any Fresno, because Chang, Chang Sang Lee is from uh, from Fresno. So let's start out with this business, man, just because this show is all about how do you make money, right? Hustling, right? So let me go ahead and yep. take my, my thing down here so like, so I don't keep, you know, blocking my face on this episode. <laughs> all right. So the so business of cleaning headlights on the weekends, like, how did you get started, man? So basically uh, how I got started was just, uh, you know, obviously cleaning my own headlights, you know, like I saw my, my uh, when I bought my wife's car, my wife's uh, Civic, right? Yeah. And I was like, man, I'm like those, those lights are dirty, you know? So like, how do I, how do I clean them? You know, because obviously I was on a budget, you know, and I was like, man, you know, there, there, there's gotta be something like better than spending like two, $300 to go buy new headlights. Yeah. So, I, I, you know, obviously for me, I, I look everything up on YouTube and then I was like, okay, you know what? I can go get a kit from uh, Walmart, right? Yeah. So I, I went and go get this $25 kit. Okay. And then I was like, okay. And then, you know, obviously I wasn't the best at it, right? I didn't have a drill or anything like that. So I was like, man, th there's got to be a better way to do this. And then, but, and then I cleaned the headlights like twice you know, uh, with, with the whole thing. And then, um, eventually, you know, I, I was like, man, you know what, let me clean my, let me clean my, uh, my sister's car, you yeah. know? And then, uh, eventually I started cleaning like, like all my family's car and just practice, uh, practice on it with that one kit that I bought from Walmart that cost me $25. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and what is it? And what is it? Is it like sandpaper or is it like lotion? Yeah. That's all it is. It's it's uh, basically uh, a bunch of sandpaper and then you know just your uh, polishing compound. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, and then yeah. So I was like, okay, you know what? So I started cleaning all their headlights, and I was like, wait, if I can clean this much headlights with this one kit, huh? I wonder if. <laughs> so I asked my, I asked my sister, and the hey, would you guys pay me? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Would you guys pay me to like clean your headlights? You know what I mean? And they're like, yeah. they're like, yeah, sure. You know, so. Um, so I just started like buying like kits. Right. And then I was like, wait, this is not e efficient. So I started looking at like the material. And I was like, wait, you know what? I can actually buy these materials like in, in, in bulk. Yeah. So, yeah. So I started buying the actual, you know, uh, the big old sandpapers, right. You yeah, know, yeah. The, the, the wet sandpapers. Okay. So the same grit. And then, uh, from there I was like, you know what? Okay. Let me just buy the same, uh, same compound, uh, uh, you know, polish. And then yeah. by that time, like I was already like, uh, I started cleaning like other people's headlights, you know, and I was like, Hey, you know what? Like just pay me like 15 bucks, 10 bucks. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then, and then, and then, you know what? Like the, the sandpaper and everything, like it only cost me like, shoot, like it cost me like probably like 20, 30 bucks to like buy all the product. Right. Yeah. Like, okay. like separated. Um, like individuals, right? And then uh, from there, from there, I was like, "Oh shit!" Like, if I keep doing this, I can actually make some money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like at, at first, I was just like, "Okay, you know, it's just like, um, it's just like for fun." You know what I mean? Like trying to make some money on the side, how, whatever. How long does it take to like to do one? I mean, well, okay, so, let's let's go with like what's the benefit of like you know headlight? You know, because most people are like, "What you're cleaning headlights?" Yeah. You know? Yeah. So like so, I mean, yeah. What's the benefit? You know. So so the benefit of cleaning headlights is especially let's say just here in Fresno, right? Let yeah. Let's talk about just here in Fresno. I don't know about other markets, right? But here in Fresno, everybody's kind of cheap. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? So, so they're, they're trying to find alternatives to save money. Right. So I was like, and obviously, you know, here the sun beats up on the headlights a lot. So oh, okay. yeah. So, uh, it starts to oxidize, uh, very quickly within a few years. Okay. So you're talking, yeah. So you're talking about like, uh, cars that are like 2015 and down, they're super oxidized by now. Okay. And yeah. So, you know, I was like, you know what, like, uh, let me get into this. And then, like and also, if your headlights are dull, you can get a ticket for it here in California. Oh dang! <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So, so like dull, like in like saying, because I seen cars like yellowish. Is that mm -hmm. what is that what oxidizes? Is that yeah. What mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so like I didn't really notice this kind of stuff until like like my car needed. So I'm like, wow, I got to do it, you know. Uh -huh. So yeah. So so go on. So like. <clears throat> So, so 20, 30 bucks and then of, of 20, 20, 30 bucks of supplies. How many cars can you clean with that? Uh, let me see. I, to be honest with you, if I buy like all my, all my products that I need, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll spend about maybe like 150 bucks and then, um, like that's like let's say included like the drill, the sandpaper, the um, you know the polishing pad, uh, and just the the spray bottle, and from there, yeah, that'll be like about 150 bucks. And uh, right now, especially right now, like you know, I upped my price, right? So yeah. I'm charging 35 35 dollars uh, like a, a per car, and some some cars is different too. Yeah, so. Okay. 35 but then your supplies are one one something one yeah around 150 but but once i get the drill ready and i have the polishing pad then it's only going to cost me about like like 40 bucks like about 40 bucks to get my sandpaper uh and my pot my uh my uh polishing compound and that's about yeah. it okay so let's say that like you're saying that total right total is 150 mm -hmm. right and then, and like like I said, how many cars can you get out of there? Like, probably like, Shoot. Dude, uh, I can't even I can't even tell you how many cars I can get out of there. I can probably get about like over a hundred cars. Oh wow! Okay, okay. So, yeah. damn. So, yeah, so thirty five dollars a, a piece. You know? Yep. Is that mm -hmm. what it is? Thirty? You're charging thirty five bucks a piece? Yeah. For, wow, dude. And, and some cars like. Um, I was like, you know, like, uh, at first I wasn't experienced. Right. So like, I was like, uh, when I first started, I was charging everybody like a flat rate. Right. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. You know, like this car, uh, like it, it doesn't matter what car, uh, I'm charging a flat rate at first when I started, I, I was charging $25. Right. Yeah. And, and I was like, man, you know, like these other cars that like take me like two hours to do, like I got to charge more, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so eventually when I started back up, uh, you know, just recently, a, a few months ago, um, you know, I upped my price to $35. So now it's like $10 more per car. Yeah. And uh, other cars that are a little harder to do, I doubled the price. So uh, so it'll be like they'll, they have to pay about $60, $70 yeah. to, to, make up, uh, to make up the difference between, you know, uh, another car that I may not uh, I may miss. That's so, not bad. So, like, you're saying, like, okay, so you go to Walmart, you buy your kit for, like, 25 bucks, right? Mm -hmm, yep. So, but you're, you know, you take somebody, and they spend two hours. You're saying you spend about two hours just to clean headlights, right? Uh, it depends on the car. So, let's say, like, uh, let's say if it's just, like, your regular Civic, uh, yeah. you know, TSX, uh, TLs, whatever, uh, probably, like, 30 minutes, knock it out. Wow. So, but mm -hmm. they're spending that kit, which is 25 bucks. Yeah. So you're, you're knocking it out like, you know, within 30 minutes or so, you know, mm -hmm. and they, they come to you, right? To your no, house? I go, I go to them. Oh, okay. Yeah. So is it, is it, do you do it locally or do you like, do you just people close by or what? Yeah, happens? mainly. Yeah. So mainly it's just like, if you're in the uh, Fresno Singer in Clovis area. So yeah. yeah. So if like, let's say if they're like uh, a little bit further than that. So let's say like Selma and Kerman. Usually, uh, you know, Selma or Kerman is not that far from my house. Uh, so I usually have them come early in the morning. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah. So you're, I mean, you're squeezing in like 
uh, some profits right there. You know, it depends on, depends on, I mean, maybe I, I would say like at least half. So, so let's, uh, so um, if, if I buy all, so let's say if I buy all my products, right? So let's say uh, sandpaper and everything, I yeah. spend about maybe like uh, 50, 60 bucks out of, out of that, I'll probably make about like maybe around $3,000. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I was trying to get to. Holy cow. 50 yeah. bucks and he eats about three thousand, right? Yeah, I'll 3, get about three thousand. So there yeah. you go, guys. For the end of the show, we can have good night. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow, dude, that's crazy. Yeah, like because because like like it depends. Uh, that's why like I bought I started buying, you know, um more of the sand uh the actual yeah. Uh, the sandpaper, right? Uh, the big ones, because like you're talking about like a little piece that's about like three inches, you know, and about like yeah. what uh, five inches long. Uh, that little piece can do about like uh, three, probably four to five cars. That yeah. that little piece can last me the whole day for all the cars. Wow! wow. And, and yeah, and I'm not, and if I can, I'm basically spending probably the whole day. Uh, using all those sandpaper in my polish, I probably spend maybe like five bucks or less than that. Wow! And I yeah, and I'm making probably like three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars for what for that day, for that day. So I mean, what's the demand right now? Is there is there a demand for like, you know, I know you're doing this on the weekends. I mean, what's mm -hmm. what's it look like on weekends for you? Oh, the weekends are crazy. You know, like yeah. uh, like right now, like it's been crazy. Like ever since uh, COVID started again. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. With COVID uh, starting, because like now everybody's like they they're bored. They ain't got nothing to do. Now yeah. they're more. Now they're like focused on like their houses, their cars. Yeah. Uh, they they start to notice little uh, these little things, right? So yeah, like, your weekends will look like it's full, right? Pretty much a full. Yeah. Week, yeah. Yeah. Hours. So yeah, about eight hours or so. Wow. And then you're you're like what making what three hundred bucks or so? You yeah. Know, uh, about three three hundred, almost four hundred. Wow. And that's if any of they're giving me tips. Wow, dude. <laughs> and they probably would, because they'd be like, dude, that was nice, man. This guy needs a tip, you know, because you're like you're face to face, right? Oh yeah, totally. You know, it's like that's like the biggest thing too. Like yeah. uh, that's one that's one of the benefits of like uh cleaning headlights, right? So yeah, that's you actually go to their like and being mobile, you you go to their house, you yeah. get a conversation, you get a conversation with them. And you build a relationship. You don't know who you're gonna uh, meet, and you get to network. Yeah. And on top of that, they give you a little tip. You know what I mean? If you're nice to them, <laughs> which you are, is gonna always gonna be nice because you'd be like, "What's up, man? You know, I yeah, can take yeah. care. I can, yeah, I would get this done nice and pretty for you." And they'd be like, yeah. "This looks awesome, man. You came all the way here. I know it's, it's only like what thirty five bucks, but you know, here's like." 10 bucks for gas or something like that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, everybody will, like, uh, give me, like, a, a bottle of water or something. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, so a lot of people, like, every, every every person that I go to, I never had an issue with them. So, wow. Uh, and wow. and I've been and been doing it for, like, about, shoot, three, about four, about four years now. <laughs> yeah, I mean... If you've been doing it for four years, this is this is a good sign, right? Because it's actually, you know, if it's if it hasn't been good, you you probably would have stopped. But oh know. yeah, totally, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let me get to some of this. Uh, some of these here. My says that my thing says, "Hey, great job, saying uh, oh. Ching Thank uh, you. Yeah, that's my auntie. <laughs> your, your wife there. She says hi, right? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> hey, congratulations, my. I know you guys uh, are having a baby. You know. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And, and oh, so, you know, shout out to my wife, too. You know, she was the like when I first when I was going to first do it. Right. Yeah. And I, I I asked her, I was like, do you think I should do this? Like, what do you think? You know, do you think this will work? You know, will I make money out of it. And she was like, you know what? I like, just do it. You know, like, why, why are you stopping yourself? You know what I mean? <laughs> but, yeah. And, and you know what? And, and that just gave me the drive, right? Uh, and that was yeah. that was like, that's all I needed, right? It was the okay. Wow. And, yeah. And, and, yeah. And I think that's a lot of us, right? Like, it's just like, you just need that okay. You know, it's like, boom. And okay, I'm going. Boom. And then it's just. It's good to it's have just, part of that actually pushes you like that. I mean, it was not really a push. It's just be like, hey, just give it a shot, you know? Yeah. So that's, uh, that's cool, man. Kudos to you. 
uh, Silhau says, hey, he's from SAC. So, uh, SAC, California. <laughs> so, where you guys at? You know, where are you, most of you guys at? Let us know where you guys are at. We're looking for some Fresno people. Uh, so far, no Fresno people yet, you know? <laughs> <laughs> There's a, there was a few of them. Was, oh, uh, there was, did I read them yeah. already? Man, I'm sorry. Yeah, I have uh, no, no, no. It was uh, no Ole in them and... Uh, and Priscilla and them, yeah. Oh, okay. So they're, 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 all, they're all from uh, they're all from Fresno too. Okay. So uh, Bessie goes, damn, 100 cars, you know, or I guess or I forgot what we're talking about with 100 cars, but did we talk about 100 <laughs> cars? But whatever. Uh, winter is the worst season. Is, is that right? Is there a season for like clean cars? Hell. Oh yeah. Yep. Uh, like yeah. Uh, winter is like the worst the worst season because here in here in Fresno or Clovis. Yeah. Like you, you can't see. It's very hard to see. It's yeah. like super dark. Yeah. So like if your your headlights are not clean and stuff, oh. I mean, you you won't be able to see a darn thing. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's true. Um, so yeah, the, 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 the demand is high. What? Let me ask you. What kind of cars do you see the most? Um. The usually, Honda? you usually like Hondas and uh, Acuras. You know, like uh, usually around those models the most. Yeah. Because okay. especially here, here in Fresno, I mean, again, you know, everybody's, you know, looking for what is affordable, right? Uh huh. So what is affordable is probably like a Honda or a Toyota. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah, or Acura. So, uh -huh. and those are easy. Like I said, those are easy to do. You know, you bust it out within like uh, 30, 30, 40 minutes and then boom, you, you go on to the next. Wow. Okay. And someday, yeah, some days, some days you can do like up to like, you know, um, <laughs> do like 12 to 15 cars instead of 10 cars or eight cars, you know? So 30 minutes in and out, bam, 35 bucks with tip. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, I, I, I route, I route all of them like, uh, where I'm, I'll basically route and go in a circle instead of like going all over the place. Is this, I mean, how do you, how do you market? Is it word of mouth or is it like, uh, well, the way I market is just all through Facebook. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. He just hey, I'm I'm not busy this weekend. Let me know if you guys need a car. You have like nope. clean, and that's you, it. You you really want to you really want to know now? <laughs> I'll tell wow. you. <laughs> yeah. So like basically, I I I I made a whole post, and yeah. um, you know, I make sure I save it into my uh my notes yeah. uh, in my phone. And every every headlight that I do, I make sure I take a picture of it, right? A yeah. before and after photo. So I also uh for those all for all those customers. Uh, I make sure that, um, you know, I'll put the pictures together, uh, before and after photo, like yeah. on one, on one photo and I'll give it, uh, and I'll send it to them after, uh, let's say like the end of the day. So right there, it will be word to mouth for them. But, but then I'll also utilize their, their photos in my next post. Uh, so I'll post <laughs> it on the face, on the Facebook market, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also I, I, uh, wow. go and add. Yeah, so I go and add all the pages here in Fresno. So let's yeah. say like all the classified pages, all the car pages, all the um, you know for sale pages. Like I add, I probably have like fifty pages that I've added over the over the years. Yeah, and and whenever uh, so I'll post on there almost like every other day. That's that's great marketing right there. So you you guys looking to like market, you know. He just showed you some secret tip right there. That's awesome. <laughs> you know, I'll let you guys go back and listen to it. But that is great marketing right there, what you did. You know, you're doing kind of you're doing, you're kind of showing them like evidence of what it looks like, but you're kind of marketing in this in the same way. And then you're putting on Facebook Marketplace, which is like really big right now. You know, everybody's yep. and I'm seeing that too. You know, I have seen a couple of them like that too. So do you put a price on that mark um, on Facebook yep. Marketplace? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, also in the details, I'll I'll make sure I put in there, uh, you know, uh, some cars may vary, you know. So let's say if like you know, uh, some of them will ask like, "Hey, I thought it was thirty five dollars," and I was like, "No, like if you go back and read the the fine print, right?" <laughs> you know. No, because the reason why I say that because some people put like one dollar, and mm -hmm. they'll get that attention. Like, what yeah. is one dollar? You know, do you do you that? Uh, like, do you play with the games? Or do you just say, "Hey, thirty five bucks." No, uh, just thirty five bucks because like I. Uh, I've noticed that like uh, I get more people to look at my my postings. Yeah. Uh, just by my pictures. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Because you because know. the way. Yeah. You know the way it, I yeah. That. yeah. Because like the way I post it, it's like uh, you know 
I'll, I'll, I'll be very consistent with my post. Yeah. And, and like, so I'll put like the before, like uh, the word before and the word after on there. And I'll also put uh, like a watermark of like, uh, uh, you know, basically uh, my little site hustle is called uh, CSL headlights. Right. So I'll put a little watermark on there. Uh, so it looks all professional, you know yeah. what I mean? Oh, yeah. Wow. So my, so my post looks very professional. So, you know, uh, someone that sees it, they're like, oh, shoot, you know what? This guy's legit. Yeah. You know, and and maybe I should just utilize him because all the other guys, uh, they don't they don't do that. They just post like some weird looking pictures. Yeah. It just <laughs> like, you know, somebody do it like a, for fun, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Also like a business name on there. It makes yep. you look kind of legit. And then I think if you have like multiple postings, it makes you even more legit, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so, and I also created a Facebook page for it too. Oh damn! Yeah, let us know what is it called. Oh, uh, so it's just uh, CSL headlights. CSL headlights. Yeah. Um, so dude. yeah. So like yeah, so uh, I'll, yeah. we'll, we'll put down the show notes and stuff like that. But uh, there you guys go. So if you guys are in the Fresno area, you know, meet your headlights, <laughs> plane. This is your man. Uh, see me, me goes. Hey, we're in the prom business. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Nancy. No, no, no! You guys are in the right business. We're talking about <laughs> we're talking about that business later. Yeah. <laughs> Messi goes, hey, uh, very impressive, impressive. That's pretty awesome. Jamal's uh, on here. Hey, uh, Shua from Minnesota, give us a shout out. Uh, Zong said he's from former Fresno. <laughs> What's up, Zong? Yeah, uh, yeah, he was from Fresno. <laughs> yeah, uh, guys, let us know where you're from. Uh, Cha Va is from Wisconsin. We got a White Bear Lake in Minnesota from here. Um, let's see here. New. Because I've been doing this for a long time. I'm not sure what she meant or he meant. Um, oh, he, 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 he details a lot, so he knows. Oh, okay. okay yeah, he's one of my boys that uh, detail. So he has his, uh, him and his brother has his own, their own detail shop. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. so. All right. And uh, we got it. Just a few more shout outs, you know. So we got a person from SAC. Uh, so, me, me says, What's the most expensive car you worked on? A Maserati. Maserati? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard to let people touch your car like that, you know. So, yeah. Was he like, was he staring at you the whole time? Or was it no. like, he yeah. was just like, he was just like, Here you go. Like, uh, here's my Maserati. Uh, just need you to clean it. Yeah. Okay. And then, that was like when I was only charging twenty five dollars uh, a car. <laughs> I mean, you can't go wrong, right? I mean, what are you gonna do? You're gonna all right, the worst you can, most you can do is buy another headlight, you know? Or... Yeah, yeah. So, so majority of the time, you know, like when they're when they're already using like a cheap alternative, yeah. uh, they rather they they're just trying it out, and yeah. if it works, it works. If not, they their their next alternative is to buy a new headlight. Yeah, and so Maserati, so he. He can afford another headlight if it doesn't work yeah. out. Yeah. So, <laughs> and it worked out for him, you know. And, you know, I utilize, uh, I also screenshot it, like, uh, because, he, again, like, when I post their um, their headlights, right? Yeah. Uh, most of them, they'll come back and they'll see they'll see that, oh, hey, I posted their headlights on my, one of my posts. Yeah. So, they'll they'll actually comment on it. Yeah. And I, I'll, I will screenshot those comments. Yeah, and then I'll add it to my uh, my next postings. Oh yeah, so, so, so just, they'll as a review, right? The momentum, like your your yeah. client base. Yes. So smart guy right here, guys. <laughs> add him with a friend. Learn his tactics. So Calvin says a business use less supply but generate good income is a great start for big businesses. So Calvin is saying kudos to you. Um, oh, thanks, Calvin. Here it goes great consistent marketing. Um, Emma K says, "How long did it take for you to build your clientele? Are you most uh, most of your clientele from marketing or referrals? Most of it will be uh, from the uh, Facebook market, and then okay. like uh, if, eventually I'll ask them. So with every client, uh, <laughs> I make sure that I ask every client, hey, how did you find me? Yeah, and then I will take note of that. So." And, and so I'll notice that, okay, you know, uh, I'm getting more response from, from uh, this page or that page uh, or that group. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, you know what? That's the group that I need to post more on. 
And then, yeah, so that's kind of like one of the reasons why it started to grow. And, uh, you know, like, and again, just referrals of word to mouth eventually. And then as I continue to post, people will be like, hey, yeah, that guy did my headlights a few, yeah. uh, you know, a few years ago. He's great, you know. That's great because, like, Facebook Marketplace is free, right? So it's like, yeah, it's yeah, amazing. <laughs> so I actually, yeah. dude, that's great, man. You just gave me an idea. I mean, I should maybe post my vacation rentals on Facebook Marketplace and see what happens because it's you know it's, everybody sees it. So yeah, and, and and it's free, you know what I mean. And right now, a lot of people are like they they they're looking at stuff to buy all the time for for some reason right now. Yeah. Because, you know, like, especially with uh, unemployment and so forth, people ain't got nothing to do. A lot of people are working at home. Yeah. Majority of the time, they're looking at their phone. And they're, and they're scrolling <laughs> all the time, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. Because so so. yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting in the toilet. I'm flipping through stuff. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, yeah, whatever, man. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and if, oh. eventually you, you'll, you'll look at it like a couple of times, right? And then you're like, wait, I didn't even notice that. Wait, let me look at that again, right? Yeah. And then yeah. that was probably the same post that you already saw, but you're looking at it again and again. And eventually, what is it? It's an advertisement or it's something that you probably didn't need. But then now you're looking at it and you're like, oh, maybe I should, maybe I should use it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, just to recap here, guys, this guy, true hustler, he's got a primary job on weekends. He's looking for something to do just to make some side income. Spends about 50, 50 bucks or so, makes about $3,000, you know. So, and that's kind of his margins right here. $50 on supplies, whatever, makes about $3,000 just by cleaning headlights, you know. <laughs> so, you guys, like I tell you guys, you know, uh, if you're not a millionaire, you got no business taking weekends off. And yep. this guy is not taking weekends off. You know, he wants I, to go far, I, you know. I got to have a shout out to you right there because, you know, like once I started following you and you always say that, right, in your posts or in your videos, like, you, I'm like, why does this guy always say that, you know? And then, you know, and I was like, yeah, that's that's true, you know what I mean? Like, because I, I, I know uh, that, like, for you, you know, uh, when people look at you and they're like, you know what, that guy's already successful, you know, but why is he still hustling? You know, yeah. it's because, like you said, you know, if you're not a million a millionaire yet, you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't take a break on the weekends, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe I want to be a multi millionaire, you know, whatever. But that first million is is your, is your first thought and say, hey, I want to get there. So mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you're a millionaire yet, but I'm just saying, <laughs> whatever you're doing is. Anybody can do it, right? You know. Oh yeah, totally. Say you can't just say, "Hey, I got no money," and complain about government stuff like that. This guy is going out there, spending fifty bucks, and he's trying to make some money on the weekends, and he's doing it. So, uh, kudos to you, man. That's why, uh, you know, I a lot of respect from you. You're a true hustler, right here. Uh, thank um, you. I appreciate it. it. Means a lot yeah. coming from you. <laughs> <laughs> but I love the motivation every morning. Uh, like I don't know if you guys uh, just joined. He's got, he does more, uh, like morning motivation. Uh, Adam is a friend, you know, you'll see his comments in the morning. Um, but, um, uh, that's it, man. I don't know what else to ask you unless anybody got any questions about, you know, um, you know, about cleaning headlights, you know, I mean, like, <laughs> hey, I mean, to me, it's like, that's it. We make so much money. I mean, it's like, you're it's just you right now. So it's like, yes, yeah. second income. Um, where are you, where are you? planning on going with this is this just a side hustle where do you mean i know uh we're, we're talking about you know you've been trying to get into the real estate um industry uh mm -hmm. where are you going with this are you, are you planning on doing this longer or well I ba basically right now what i'm doing is uh you know doing this on the side and you know saving all saving all the money or you know just using it to pay you know uh credit cards or so forth and on top of that saving money on um from my job too and just rolling all that money into real estate yeah so that's kind of basically the, so the main us, drive so, so tell us what uh oh okay so we got one quick question here uh she uh chansley says what is the name of the cleaning product from walmart i guess is what she's asking 
so that one is uh it's a mother's uh i think it's like it's called mother's uh headlight restoration okay yeah mother's headlight restoration restoration yeah uh -huh. and, and she has a backup question that is how long does the headlight stay clean for uh they stay clean about uh for about a year and a half to two years okay all right yeah so um cool and then so let's talk about you know where you're heading right so what what got you like motivated into real estate? Well, I would say first it was um, maybe when uh, I, when I first started my my uh, my actual job right after college, and I guess uh, it was during tax season, right? And I was like, I had to, I, I never had to pay back, right, in taxes. Yeah. And I was like, what is going on here? Like, why do I have to pay pay taxes? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and like I had to pay like I think like like probably two three thousand, you know, and I was like, wait, like you guys just withheld like ten thousand dollars from me, yeah, like that that's crazy. So I started researching, um, you know, a little bit more about like what can I do, uh, to get my money back, right? So, um, and one thing that popped up was real estate, yeah, you know, that you're gonna be able to write off your interest. And, you know, you can depreciate the, uh, you know, your basically your your house and, um, you know, basically you, you'll be able to get you'll be able to get back your money from uh, your withholds. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. And then also, well, one of the biggest thing was like learning how to fill out your W-4 form. And, you know, and a lot of people uh, I noticed this a lot. They always put like they have one or zero. <laughs> on their allowance <laughs> and that's okay. like one of the biggest secret what it, it's like it's, uh, to, it's like what number do you put on there that's what we want to know <laughs> <laughs> so the number that i put on there is around like uh four 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 or, four or five four or five yeah. and why i mean you don't you don't claim four or five you don't have like a family yet right so, a, yeah, so just a quick why. Why why would you do that? Yeah, just a quick um summary. So basically, like, uh, like when you actually read the, the form correctly, you know, uh, it, and you actually read the, the front and the back, uh, once you add, once you start adding all your numbers, you know, it's going to be around, most of the time it's going to be around like two or three or, or four, you know, and then, uh, but most people, you know, they they'll put a zero or a one because obviously nobody taught them how to read the w4 form so <laughs> uh, so and that's basically a form that tells you know the government or the irs or whoever that uh, is basically oh this is how much we're going to withhold your money and so basically when i started to mess with it and learning more about it i was like you know what if i put a three okay let me see how much they're going to withhold this month yeah you know and then I was like, okay, well, let me put a four and then see how much they're going to withhold this month. And then, you know what? I, I found my, uh, my happy medium yeah, where, uh, you know, they withheld a little bit, but I, I was able to take most of the money that I made. And then obviously I take that money, I save that and I pour it into real estate where uh, they can't take, they can't, they can't uh, basically tax me. So let me so let me summarize this so so it's no no uh no hustlers left behind here, so uh, <laughs> we're not tax guys right we're not no we're not no guys you know we're not CPAs but he's just saying that he's just playing with this form I don't even know what it's called but you're saying it's a W four whatever it is yes so what it is is he's basically saying he's playing with the numbers so he doesn't get that much tax money taken out so he can take some of that money invest it and make more money out of it because if the irs is holding that money or his his company is holding that money it's uh he doesn't he doesn't have that to invest to multiply because you know the show is we're all about talking about money that's kind of what he's doing he's trying to yeah. he's trying to not let them take his money he's trying to take as, as much money as he can from his paycheck so he can invest that maybe into his 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 business here or maybe into like the real estate business so he can try to multiply that and make money faster that way. So, dude, that's smart, dude. You know, oh. <laughs> dude, you're the man. 
that's that's hey. basically that. you just googled it yourself and go hey mm -hmm. i'll figure this out and that's that's the best way you know there's youtube stuff on it and you probably like you know you probably saw most of it and you know you did your research and that's awesome man Dude, kudos to you just to think like that yeah thanks you know because i was like you know there's got to be a better way you know what i mean like especially if they're going to withhold all my money yeah like uh that's crazy so like uh so like this year the the recent year um i was able i was able to like take majority of my money that i made from work and i was but i was able to keep it and because obviously i had i had a rental so yeah. and yeah so i bought a rental and then i i was able to like, use all that money that i was supposed to pay back uh it was a write-off yeah so uh i i even got 500 dollars back <laughs> <laughs> so so that was the motivation right because you're like man you know i'm paying this three thousand dollars you know what can i do with it you know whatever like your your, your tax money so you're looking at real estate now you're making money with real estate too right so you're yep. making income from what i mean let's talk about this let's talk let's talk about it. you're you're like a landlord right you you bought a yes. rental just yes. so you you can manage it and make money out of it right yes and so you're getting income i mean what summarize is quick like and easy you're making money from this rental and you're getting tax deductions so that just bumps you into like you know awesomeness right because you just made more you just made money and you it's like a win-win right so real estate is like you made money and you're getting tax deductions which you were yep. paying before you know mm -hmm. and you, may, you may even get more tax deductions but are you are you what are you writing anything off or you're just doing just the, the bare minimum what you uh, well i'm doing the kind of like the bare minimum and especially like uh so i can i can uh split it uh with within the uh the two years yeah so yeah so like uh depending like whenever i talk to my uh the uh my uh tax lady and she was like you know if you only you know split if let's say if i i threw in twenty thousand into a uh, a home and she said if you know you can just write off ten thousand you know and utilize the other ten for next year uh and you'll be fine you know that's so, awesome yeah, so I was like, oh yeah, you guess so, so I I'm learning a lot from them too. Like, and it's like I don't know these things, but obviously they know it because they they're the ones that prepare taxes all the time. Yeah. So yeah. they tell me the little tips and tricks. So I'm like, you know what? I could keep doing that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but if I, you you know I know we're talking about your your uh, your your headlight cleaning, mm -hmm. you can also write deductions on that too. You know? Yeah, yeah, but I think uh, we, we, the way we were going with this show is that uh, yeah, you went from from trying to do another stream of income, and that's why you took the real estate route. You know, because real estate can also, you know, it's not it's not like a job no more, right? Because you're not always nope. there. Yeah, you, know, you don't have to be there work, working the weekends because that rent is coming on the first of the month every month. Yep. Yep. Right? So that's what's awesome about real estate, uh, uh, you know. I wanted to throw that in there too, because you know, I know <clears throat> you may not say it, but you know, real, that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm in real estate because you know it's that income that comes in uh, every month. So, um, guys, let us know where you're at. Just do a quick summary here. Um, love to hear where you guys are at. So, how many personal people we had in here? Do you remember, like three you now? Or something? Uh, we'll probably have four or five. Uh, Hua, Hua is also from uh, Fresno yeah. too. Yeah. So we we saw a few uh, Wisconsin. We saw a few Minnesota, uh, Fresno. If you guys are in Fresno or California or just anywhere, give us a shout out. Give us a thumbs up for this guy. This guy's been hustling on the weekends, you know. And uh, he, he's also a um, one of the admins from Mo Fitness and Motivation Group. Uh, if you guys join that, it's all about fitness. A lot of motivation, not, not a lot of positivity in that group. Um, and he cleans headlights on the weekends to make about, you know, $3,000 with $50 of overhead. That's crazy. <laughs> 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 so, um, bro, so, so just curious, like, I mean, we didn't really talk, like, how long you had your rental? Uh, the rental I've been only having about for only a year now. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. you like it? You like this business? 
Oh, I love it, man. It's yeah. like, yeah, because it's like, it's crazy. You know, once, once you're able to give, uh, hand over the rental to them, you know, make sure that everything's like in good hand yeah. and you hand it over. Um, that's the, I think that's the, like, the biggest thing, right? It's like, make sure that you hand it over in good condition to them yeah. and they, they eventually will continue to take care of it. And every month when I pick up, uh, when I get that check, it's like, yep, that check is worth it. You know? Yeah. It's like, it's like, wow, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of like a, it's almost like you want something every month. It's like, yeah, I got yeah. something, you know? Yeah. And it's like, uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, after, we'll, we'll just keep it simple. How much do you get uh, in profit every month from it after minus all the expense and everything, like insurance and everything? So minus uh, after all the expenses and everything, uh, I get about three hundred fifty dollars. Wow, dude, that's that's good. I mean, that's I mean, usually like the minimum people shoot for for a rental is like minimum of two hundred bucks. So you already gone above the minimum. So that's awesome. Um, like, how much did, how much down payment did you put in? Uh, down payment was about after let's see, everything was about eight thousand. Oh, you put eight thousand? So eight yeah, only eight eight thousand to down and close. Yeah, so eight thousand and it's about uh, three fifty, so what? Uh let's see, three fifty divided Oh, and then I put about uh about uh nine thousand. I think it was uh, no 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 nine thousand, uh about eight thousand to uh fix it up. Okay. So yeah. well this is a eighteen uh fifty Man, am I doing this wrong? It'd be like 51 months. What? I'm trying to figure out how long it takes for you to, to get the LOI back. I think it's about eight years. So about mm -hmm. eight years or so. If you get yeah. if that gets paid off, so that eighteen thousand in eight years gets paid off, then you can take that eighteen thousand and put it into like another rental, right? Yep. Yep. And and then that money becomes free and clear. Because yep. you're getting that 350 continuously, it's like yep. unlimited, you know. Yeah, it becomes yeah. infinite. Uh, it's an infinity return, right? <laughs> After that, oh, dude, it's like you're like, oh my god, dude. So that's like, yeah. He so he said it, dude. So you get it's called infinity, right? Infinity return is like you know, once you get your all your money back, that's continuous money. Like it just it just keeps coming in and you can take that 18,000 that's already fully paid for and just put another one. In. So the quicker you put money in and you know, <clears throat> the more rentals you get, the, it just, it's just snowball effect. It gets faster and faster. So, so then I know this is your first one, you know, for me, it was like after my, my second or my third one is when I really saw like the snowball effect where like, yeah, you know, it's like money's coming in so fast that you're like, Oh, you know, and then now you're like, <laughs> It's like an addiction because now you're like, oh man, what if we get another one? You know, so it really becomes an addiction. Like every month, you're like, oh, you know, I can get more money just by buying another property. And then yep. before you know it, that eight month, the eight year, whatever it is, goes by. It's like you don't you don't even realize that. And then now you got all that money back and you just keep investing. In that, you know, I think now I got like twenty three properties right now. So it's like, oh wow, congrats. Yeah, so it's like wow, dude, it's like it's crazy. So um, yeah, because like uh, I started with my first uh, my first property, right? And my first property I got uh, right now the one that I'm living in right now I got it three years ago. So and then I got my first uh, rental property a year ago, and that so and then within a year already I'm already looking to buy another uh, to buy another rental. Yeah. So, you, so just like you said, like that snowball effect, it becomes faster and faster. So like with this house right now, uh, I'm looking at, uh, into refi uh, refinancing and taking all my cash out. Yeah. So all the money that I put into this home, I'm taking all that out. And then I'm going to put it into, you know, uh, try to put it into two other rentals. Uh, hopefully, you know, if the market is okay. And then, um, yeah, and then keep going. So I just, I would jump from, from two to four. Uh, within within a year. Yeah. Dude. So what, what what guys what he's talking about he's talking like an advanced strategy here, but basically he's taking money out from whatever he's bought, and now he's gonna you know instead of like saving up for that money, he's just taking that first property that he bought, he's pulling money out, and now he's buying other ones. So now it becomes a big snowball effect where you know he doesn't have to save it, save money to just to buy these properties. So, um, 
if you guys are interested, we do have a uh, a real estate group called Home Real Estate Investors. Look it up on Facebook. Uh, we've got a bunch of guys in there who are pretty smart, you know. So go ahead and uh, go in there and ask questions. And you know, he's Chang Sang was is in one of the, is in it too. So he's uh, asking. I'm not. I'm not, uh, <laughs> I'm not up there with you guys though. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, but but once you get the first one, it's, it's usually once you get the first one, you start realizing it's really easy. You know, oh yeah, getting to that first one. So now you, now you see the potential of that second. You know, that second one, you're already thinking about it. So it's like, you know, it's gonna be a easy cakewalk for you. So kudos to you. Uh, Thanks, let's see, there's any questions here? What is, uh, is the headlight cash in his pocket? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I think Betsy yeah. saying that. Is, is in your pocket, I think she meant is is it go to your pocket or is it going to I think you mentioned you're saving up for investment as well, right? Yeah, so basically uh, you know, some of it some of it will obviously, you know, just pay bills, whatever. But you know, I, I make sure that I, you know, keep my bills as low as possible. Yeah. So um and then, you know, the rest of it goes into into savings. Cool. Um, so two goes, a uh, whole goes, that's awesome. Two goes, that's awesome. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. And, uh, so me goes, what's a single single family house in the Fresno area renting for? So she specified, but let's just say three, two. Do you have any ideas? Three, two. Well, basically, uh, right now it depends on which, which area, too. So let's say in the in the southeast uh, area. So let's say near the fairgrounds where the New Year is at. Uh, usually, uh, that's probably uh, one of the worser areas, I would say. But they're renting about like uh, thirteen fifty, starting. And then once you get once you go into like the uh, better neighborhoods, uh, you're looking at probably like uh, fifteen sixteen. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty high. That's pretty. Yeah. Good. How many? How, how much does it cost? Again? Uh, as in what? I mean, how much would it cost for three two? Um, it depends. Like in, in the in that area, um, right now it's probably in the low, probably in the low twos ish. Wow. It's still it's pretty high up there. But if you can find a deal that is like, uh, if you can find a deal that's like probably like a hundred and sixty. Yeah. Or around there, oh, you you'd be making money. Yeah, 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 easy. Because I mean, you you can just you don't have to buy it as an investment property. You can just buy it as a, you know, owner occupied, and then you know live in there for a year. And Look then, at this guy. He's talking advanced strategy here, man. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean, live in there for a year, and then that's it. You know. Yeah. And then, and then rent it out. Yeah, that's an advanced strategy. You guys want to know more about it? Uh, maybe you need to bring you back into this uh, show again. But uh, yeah, that's that's an advanced strategy right there. That's what he's talking about. It's kind of like a secret, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, hey, uh, appreciate you coming on. Uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, we're coming up a little past the hour. Uh, let's 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 wrap it up. So uh, appreciate you coming. Let's do it. Uh, one thing I do ask, like one of my guests is. Is our the, the end the end of the show is like if if you hadn't if somebody was to give you a billion dollars, yeah, you know, what would, what would be the first two things you do with it? The first thing or the first two things? The first two, <laughs> usually the first thing is you know I want to buy my mom a house or something. So, nah, uh, <laughs> for me, yeah. I, I will I will uh, reinvest into uh, more into real estate and not not just drop all my money into one apartment complex you know yeah. i'll split that i'll split that uh so i can get several uh complexes so let's say probably you know if it's going to cost me maybe a couple millions for for one complex yeah uh, i'm utilizing that that as leverage wow so and, and then kind of go from there so what he's talking about is like he's using a million dollars to buy apartment complex as a down payment but with a million dollars you can leverage that to three million dollars Right, three million dollar becomes what's the down payment on that? A lot of money because you can leverage that three times, right? Yeah, yeah, around um, that, yeah, around, around that, around that amount. Yeah, so you mm -hmm. can leverage that three times because <clears throat> usually you have to put 20, 25 percent or so down. So 
three percent. So that's like, man, I can't even do the math tonight. It's it's <laughs> one o'clock right now. Um, I can't do the math. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Somebody do the math for us, man. A billion. Dollars. <laughs> that's that, I think that's what two says. A billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, what's the second thing you would do? Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, by that time, the money's already flowing, so I can do anything I want. <laughs> <laughs> but if you had it, but you had to, you know. Um, I I would say, okay, if I had to use it, then I'll probably like uh, you know, buy buy my wife uh, her dream home. She says she wants like a three story home. <laughs> On a like a three acre lot, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a common thing here. Three, you know, three three stories, three acres. You know. <laughs> cool, cool, man. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So basically, you're saying you're just gonna multiply that money. You know, you're thinking about just taking that and multiplying, which is cool. You know, because uh, you know we talk about money on the show. First thing about money, how to make money. Second thing is how to save money, and third thing is how to multiply, and that's basically what you're doing. You're just gonna take it and multiply it to make more money. So that's awesome, man. Put up you. Uh, I see. Still got that mansion. So what's she saying? Still got that mansion for his seven kids. You got seven kids, or you guys are looking for seven kids? <laughs> no, I'm good. I, I told I told my wife I, I'm gonna get seven kids. <laughs> we're, we're we're gonna have seven kids or more. <laughs> You hear it on Mole Hustlers. <laughs> Seven kids. <laughs> everybody thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> hey, man, whatever, bro. Everybody got to get their own goals, man. So I uh, appreciate you guys coming on the show <clears throat> and asking questions. You know, you guys are great. I know it's, it's late for some of y'all. <clears throat> so I appreciate you guys coming on the show. Uh, Cheng Sang, appreciate you coming. Just tell us your story. I mean, that's really motivation. That what you're saying and all that stuff on the on the fish you've given us. Hopefully, somebody take that and run with it if they need some extra income. And uh, that's it, man. I appreciate you coming on the show. I appreciate yeah, it. Man. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, uh, any last words? Nope. I think that's it, man. Well, all right. Keep, so, uh, keep hustling, guys, you know. All right. Yeah, guys. Uh, you guys have a good night. Uh, keep hustling, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right. See you later.